Hi, I'm Bruce Marshall from Emerson Swan, and today I'd like to talk about the universal hydronics formula. The universal hydronics formula is used in just about all phases of designing a heating system, from designing the actual system to selecting the circulator. So let's take a look at this formula and see what it's all about. Uh, the formula is simply this, GPM equals BTUH divided by delta T times 500. So let's, let's define these terms. And we'll start with GPM, very simple, gallons per minute. BTUH is our heating load, and that's the load on that system at any given point in time. Typically when we design a heating system, we design it for our worst case scenario, which would be the coldest day of the year. We design a system that will heat the building on that day. So that is the load that we design around. The delta T is the design temperature drop across that system on that coldest day of the year. In a uh, baseboard, series loop baseboard system, we design around 20 degree delta T. Assuming that the water temperature goes out at 180 degrees, it would come back at 160 degrees. Now this is the traditional design on standard baseboard. On a radiant system, the delta T is 10 degrees. So in a typical radiant system, it might go out at 130 degrees and come back at 120 degrees. If the delta T is any wider than that, you might end up with cold spots in, at the end of the run in that system. So we design radiant systems around a, a shorter delta T. Finally, the 500. And now the 500 is a constant that we use, and that represents 8.33, which is the weight of a gallon of water, times 60 minutes in the hour. The actual number is 499.8, but we can safely uh, round up to 500. Remember, virtually everything in hydronics, from pipe sizing to circulator selection, stems from this formula. So it's a very important to understand what this formula means to you. Thank you.